Hi guys, so, um, this is random, but I was kind of flipping channels because I didn't know what to watch today. It is morning TV, it's always hard to find something to watch. But I was flipping through, and on 47 on ABC Family, there's the 700 Club. It's a religious uh, program. And I wasn't, like, sure. Cause usually, like, stuff like Grounded for Life and stuff, and Still Standing, and, and Boy Meets World and stuff are on. ABC Family, so I'm like, I don't remember, what, you know, so I'm looking for that, but I'm like, I'm gonna, you know, take a look at this, um, and this woman is talking about kids and stuff and Christianity and then, you know, taking back the country, and I'm thinking, lady, we live in America. There's this thing in the Constitution called separation of church and state, and I know we don't pay very close attention to it. But we need to start paying more attention to it. She's complaining about, oh, apparently some kid stated that his Christian beliefs taught him that homosexuality is wrong and he got suspended for it. Now, looking at that, I don't believe it. I'm thinking, um, they're not telling the whole story. That kid probably did something. He might have harassed someone who was gay. I have a feeling that that's what happened. They're just not uh, telling the whole story. So that's what makes more sense. Because I've never heard of anyone getting suspended for simply saying, no! Sorry, my phone is me out. Um, thing, oh, Christianity is wrong. Or Christianity is wrong. Home, my Christianity told me that homosexuality is wrong. Now, in my school, you can harass gay people. Or Moline, you could harass gay people and have nothing done about it. Um, Moline is very, uh, yeah. But I believe that things got worked out. There was a gay couple that got harassed a lot, and it was fixed. Thank God. Um, I just always laughed because there was a big sign in one of the halls that said tolerance. <laughs> the school doesn't know what tolerance is. Um, but things have gotten better. Um, not everyone was like that, just like the, some of the deans and stuff. Lansky's a bitch. Um, but she's talking about, and then she's going like, oh, freedom of speech is gone. Boo, boo. Um, and then they're like, oh, an airplane. Um, the, this gay a woman, I guess, I think it was a woman, I, I think it was a woman, said she couldn't, she ki gave a kiss to her partner, and she was kicked off the plane, I guess, when they were, they were landed, obviously, but she was kicked off the plane for giving a kiss to her partner, and they got in trouble for it, and that she was a lesbian, but, the, um, guy was like, oh, we live in a country where we can't say we don't want accessibility with this, and he was saying we can't, you know, it's like, okay, so it's okay to say things that are, like, for Christianity, but for the, the second someone says something, you know, that's pro-gay, or, pro, you know, pro-equal rights, if you will, um, you're all, you have your undies in a bunch over it. And that pisses me off. It's like it works both ways. Christians and any other religion. You guys need to get the hell over yourself and realize that you don't run this country. And we're fighting really hard to make this country equal for everyone. Not just gays, you know, but for people who are different religions and people who aren't religious. And you guys just keep, ugh. You know, I have friends who are Christians, and I know not all Christians are crazy. Trust me. I know that there are plenty of religious people out there who are perfectly, like, not insane. You know, but there's some of these Christians that are just fucking, it's like, Christians, please keep your religion out of my schools. And my government. I promise I'll keep my government and school out of your religion. You know, home is where the morals go. You te you're taught your morals and your beliefs at home and church. School is for learning from the logic and science and education point of view. And if you don't like that, that um, evolution's taught in schools, get the hell over it because creationism has no need to be taught in schools. Creationism is taught at church. You don't teach evolution at church, you teach creationism at church. Just like you don't teach creationism at school, you teach evolution at school and other scientific theories. And that's another thing that pisses me off. Theory does not equal hypothesis. Hypothesis is an idea that's just what you think. There's no proof yet. You're, you experiment to find out the answer. A theory is based upon fact. Evolution is a theory based upon facts. We just don't know everything yet. That's something that annoys me. Christians, can, and not just Christians, and other religions, completely deny scientific fact. Completely deny it. They say, oh, that's just a theory. I'm like, you believe in religion. Religion is more of a theory. Religion is a hypothesis compared to, you know, science. 
you know, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I acknowledge that, yes, religion is based off of faith. That's the way it is, you know, and I'm not dissing that. I'm just saying that is the way it is, and science is based off of, you know, it's kind of like I could say to someone, it's like, I have a pink stuffed dog, and they could say, no, you don't, and I could show them, this is my pink stuffed dog, and they will still deny it. It's kind of like that with some people. Like, there are ones that don't believe in dinosaurs. My friend knew someone who did not believe, she was in her his biology class, and she did not believe in dinosaurs. She thought the dinosaur bones were put here by angels to question, make people question their faith. I have never heard anything more insane in my life. Um, and you know, that woman, she said something about the, oh, the founding fathers turning their graves. The founding fathers were not Christian. Not all of them were Christian men. Their idea for this country was to escape religious, you know, being, that's why they put separation of church in the Constitution. I believe it's the Amazing Atheist who did a video talking about the Founding Fathers. They were not all Christian men. We were not founded by devout Christian men. We were found, as most of them, I believe, were either agnostic or they didn't, just didn't believe that God had a solid place in the country, that people should, be, you know, believe what they want without, you know, one religion being more, have more influence than the other, you know, really religion should have influence, but, you know, go to the Amazing Atheist channel and find that video, I, I don't remember the name of it, if, when I do, or I'll try and find it, put it in down bar, but, it's just, the, the founding fathers won't be rolling in their graves, I think, you know, they'll be rolling in our gra their graves, because of all this crazy religious overlordness, and this is weird, but, I think that Christians, you need to realize it works both ways. It's like Lady Gaga with Judas. They had a bitch fit over Judas. Yet, there's Christian music, which there's nothing wrong with. If we're allowed to have music that is Christ, you know, Christian music or religious music, then we're allowed to have music that is against religion. Try listening to Aiden. You know, hysteria, crucifixion. You know, that can exist, and so can other religious bands, you know. You know, if you can speak out for Christianity, then people can speak out against it. It's called freedom of speech. And the only reason why you're not allowed to talk with religion in school is just because of separation of church and state. Um, <clears throat> now, I think a common misconception is, like, oh, freaking out, you know, prayer. There's no teacher that prayer in school. If you want to pray in school, that's your own business. It's just as long as you keep it to yourself. You know, you can pray if you want to pray. If you need to pray before you eat or whatever at lunch, you can do that. You're, you totally can do that as long as you keep it to yourself. Um, I think people don't quite understand that. They they freak out. Oh, I can't do this. Can't. Technically, you can. It's just to keep it to yourself. There's no teacher led and stuff. Um, but. Yeah, Christians are not taking back the nation because the nation does not belong to them. The nation belongs to no one. The nation just belongs to the people. And we all have the right to religious freedom. That's why we came here. We came here for religious freedom, not to be constricted by, you know, a religion. And as I've said, I have no problem with religion as long as people keep it to themselves or they are rational about it, if it's possible to be rational about religion. Um, because I've grown up, I grew up Episcopalian, I have plenty of Christian friends and friends of other religions. It's just when people take it to this extreme or they're hypocr complete hypocrites about it. Um, as I said, I don't really know what my status on religion is right now. I'm very, even more confused than I've ever been about religion. I don't even know what to believe right now, um, but I do promise I'm not hating on religious, you know, Christians in general. I'm just hating on these stupid people. So, I think that there are a lot of Christians out there who give people, Christian, Christianity a bad name, and I acknowledge that. Um, I know that there are a lot of insane people out there, but I definitely don't think all Christians are like that. Um, because I, I really don't want people to think I'm, like, super against religion. I just, I'm against religion taking over everything. Um, but, this is probably getting really long. So I think I'm going to end it now. If I offend anyone, I apologize. But, if I offend anyone, you're probably...
crazy. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, just let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.